Next at 5, crews battle wildfires in central Oregon. Tonight, we're hearing from a local team helping to keep homes safe near the line of fire. Plus, President Trump's zero-tolerance policy is sparking protests all across the country. Amid that anger, a makeshift memorial service in Oregon right outside the Sheridan Federal Prison is sending detainees hope. And in Portland, it's been over a week since protesters have camped out at the ICE headquarters. Today, demonstrators led a march to City Hall. First, live, local. The 5 o'clock news starts now on Fox 12 Oregon. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Bonnie Silkman. First up tonight, five days have passed since President Donald Trump signed that executive order ending the separation of migrant families at the border. But protesters and religious leaders in Oregon continue to rally today, calling for an end to the zero tolerance policy. Now, we do have live team coverage on multiple demonstrations taking place. Our Kendra Kent is live at the ICE headquarters in Portland. That's where demonstrators have been camped out. But first, Let's get to our Fox 12's Brenna Kelly. She's live in downtown Portland near City Hall where demonstrators were at earlier today. Brenna. Bonnie, I wanted to give you a closer look at some of the chalk drawings. This is just one of many around City Hall where a rally ended just hours ago. State representatives spoke and a group of hundreds of people walked and marched through downtown for a little while. This morning, I was in Sheridan outside of the federal prison where hundreds of people gathered for a makeshift Sunday service. Now this comes.